Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about a cool new feature in Cubase Pro 8 called Render in Place. This is a function that lets you generate new audio files from existing materials. So in other words, you might have audio tracks that have effects that you wish to print or instrument tracks where you wish to convert the MIDI into audio. You may have certain audio events or parts on audio tracks that you wish to just render a particular selection range across audio or MIDI events on a single track or multiple audio and instrument tracks. You can specify what exact settings you want to use. And to do this, you go to the edit dropdown menu, render in place, then render setup. And once you do that, you've got this dialog that comes up, which is what you'll want to configure before you start rendering different types of material. So let's dive into some of the settings that are available. First, we have two tabs. We have the Render tab and the File Settings tab. So let's start with Render. Looking up at the top of this dialog, you can see we have three different choices as far as methods for processing the audio. We can have as separate events, block events, or one event. The third one, as one event, is actually the default setting. One or more tracks are created, and these will contain the events or parts that are combined down to one event part. Now, if you choose as block events, one or more tracks will be created, and these will contain adjacent events or parts that are combined to blocks. Every block will be then saved as a separate audio file. Utilizing the first one in the list, entitled as separate events, what happens here is one or more tracks are created, and this one or many tracks will contain separate events or parts that are saved as separate audio files. Now the next section down is how the rendering is going to handle the current track settings that you have going on. These include dry. This setting is useful if you just have a bunch of different chunks of audio that you wish to just combine into one single file. Any channel settings such as pan or volume or automation settings are transferred to the new track. Utilizing the second one, channel settings, all your settings, including insert, channel strip, and EQ, are going to be rendered into the resulting file. Routing settings are still going to be transferred to the new track. Then you have complete signal path. If this is activated, your whole signal path is rendered into the resulting files. This includes all channel settings, group channel settings, and effects send settings. The rendering is applied at the master output channel and you'll use this setting if the channel is connected to a group channel or an effects send channel, as you may want to render all of those settings into the resulting file. And finally, complete signal path plus master effects. If you activate this, your whole signal path, including master bus settings, are rendered into the resulting files. All channel settings, group channel settings, effects sends, and master bus settings will be rendered, and this is applied at the master output channel. If you wish to render multiple tracks down to a stereo mix, you can just simply activate this box here, mix down to one track. And of course, there are some other settings such as ways to name the file. You can lock it to prevent further changes. If you happen to have reverb or delay, you can make an adjustment for the effect tail that trails off. And you also have some choices as far as what happens once you have rendered the track. You can keep your source tracks unchanged. Default is mute source track, so that means it will mute the audio or MIDI region that you're working with, as well as disabling and removing source tracks. And finally, once you're done rendering, you can also have this feature hide the source tracks as well. So just to do a quick little demonstration of this, we've got these four tracks selected. And I'm going to go up to the Edit dropdown, choose Render in Place, then Render Setup. Make sure I've got the settings that I want. and hit OK to start the rendering process. So really cool new feature in Cubase Pro 8, Render in Place. I highly recommend you check it out. It's a real workflow enhancer.